Welcome everybody to the intermittent gentleman here and today I'm going to do a review on a cigar lighter and cutter uh, combination here. This is the Lotus Duke V serrated cigar cutter uh, and lighter. So let's start with some specs here. Um, let's see. So the lighter itself is about two and three quarters inches long. It's about half an inch wide or thick. And it's about an inch and a half uh, wide here. It is a triple torch lighter. You can see the three jets there. And let's take a look at the weight. So this lighter comes in at about 4.87 ounces, which we're looking at 138 grams. Let's just do one more this way. 138 grams. and still 4.87 ounces. For some size comparisons, we have our black Sharpie marker. We have a standard uh, run-of-the-mill Zippo. We have the ubiquitous uh, Bic lighter. And also we have uh, a normal like credit card, debit card size. And a little bit of a throwback here, we have an iPod video. Now what makes this lighter a little bit special is that it is also, it has an integrated V cutter here. And it does have serrated blades, um, which the information out there is that it does protect the cap of your cigar as you're making your cut a little bit, uh, those serrations. Pull down activation that does flip the lift lid off there. Three nice uh, blue flames that come out. Uh, to the tip. You have your refill here and then you have your flame height control knob here. Now it is a little bit of a, an order design if you will where it does require the use of a coin or a screwdriver to get in there. Nowadays a lot of lighters are doing some sort of bigger um, knurled knob or they're doing some sort of mechanism that has a, a flip tab to give you a little bit more purchase on your flame adjust wheel. It does have a decent fuel window here on the front. Maybe a little bit hard to pick up on camera, but it is blue lit. And uh, on the back here, the integrated cutter, it also flips up, allowing you to either cut in this way or clear out tobacco that you've already uh, used in the downward position. Uh, I think as you heard there, it has pretty good detents right here on both sides that, uh, that secure it in the downward position. So I heard that click in there nicely, so it's not gonna come out any risk there. Normally what I'll do is I'll cut the cigar in its down position here and then after a few cuts throughout the day or that cigar smoking, um, open it up then and kind of brush out or blow out uh, any tobacco from within the tray here. This is the antique bronze finish, but the lighter does come in some other color combinations. Uh, there is an all black, 
There's also a kind of pewter or silver um, antique finish, as well as a red and black finish um, too. The lighter itself is pretty good. Now, triple torch coming to a nice point there. Um, pretty good for your, I don't want to say necessarily bigger cigars, like 60 plus, but I would say anywhere between you know, 48 to 60, uh, this lighter is going to do just fine. Because the jets are angled inward on the outside, it does come to that uh, more fine point. So if you needed to do some touch-up work with even this uh, triple torch lighter, you could. There are some lighters out there, though, that all of the jets are parallel with each other. So they don't come to a point. And it's more of that paintbrush style broad flame that is becoming more popular with a lot of lighters. It is coming in at $70. And to be honest, it's probably a little bit overpriced. I think it would be more competitive at that $50 range. However, with the integrated cutter here, a lot of lighters from, let's say, Zycar or Calibri that do offer some sort of integrated cutter are oftentimes a lot more. Now, a couple downsides with this lighter is that it is heavy, coming in almost at five ounces there. Um, its form factor is pretty narrow to slip in the pocket or uh, to rest inside your travel humidor. I haven't had many problems with the ignition. It has pretty reliable ignition, almost fires every time. But I will say that this lighter doesn't do a great job of constant flame regardless of how much fuel you have uh, in the lighter. So as the lighter's fuel kind of uh, dips, and even though it's enough to get you through lighting a cigar, you will find yourself having to manipulate your um, flame adjustment wheel here as you lose fuel in the lighter. Unlike some lighters out there, regardless of how much fuel you have, your setting will still out, uh, output the same flame height or intensity no matter how much fuel is in there until it's completely depleted. Uh, this lighter though, as you light, you'll definitely, uh, and as you use fuel, you'll definitely have to uh, modify or play uh, with, that, with that fuel indicator. I'm sorry, the flame adjuster. One thing though, even though like, you know, a lot of times a coin or a screwdriver would be your best tool, it's not that hard to get a fingernail, even uh, my shorter fingernails in there to make your adjustments as needed. Now, this lighter is, this lighter is okay. It, it doesn't really do any one thing well, if you will. It's not the best V cutter. It's not the best lighter. Um, from a standard or pure lighting standpoint, the design is really good. The angle of the jets to bring that to a nice V, the pretty reliable ignition is great. What's not great about it is its fuel capacity. Without having a full transparent window here to really see how much it, uh, it can hold, uh, this is just anecdotal at best. But if, if you're looking for a lighter that's gonna last you a, a day on the golf course and you're thinking this is great because it's one package, one item that's a cutter, as well as uh, a lighting device all in one, it's not gonna last you even uh, nine holes through golf. Uh, this lighter is more designed for if you're going to a cigar bar after work with some friends or you're, you're traveling and you don't wanna take a lot with you and you don't plan on smoking that many cigars while you're gone, meaning you're not bringing uh, any type of butane with you because I've probably found, let's say like a, let's just go with an average of what I smoked, like, like a 52 uh, gauge size. You're going to get through, I would say maybe three or four cigars, uh, depending on if you have to do any touch-ups or you know, you're doing a relight here and there. You may get through, I don't know, at most 
four to six cigars before you're really um, getting low performance, even at the highest, uh, you crank that adjustment wheel the whole way uh, to the positive. After about six cigars, you're really gonna need a refill. Which may seem like a lot for some people out there. Uh, so, you know, if you're not planning on, if you're planning on being okay with refilling here and there or in between your smokes, then, uh, you know, this should be fine depending on your smoking habits. But looking at integrated lighters and cutters, let's say even something like this Vertigo quad lighter here, which is like an $8 lighter that you find at some cigar shops, uh, tobacco stores, etc. This has a huge tank, even for a quad lighter. And you saw me have to double hit it there, but this has pretty reliable ignition too, and it's only $8. So if you lose it or you leave it in the golf cart or you lose it during travel, because technically even, um, even with the, the spec cases that they've pretty much stopped making are really hard to find because the TSA now, it doesn't matter if you have one of those cases or not, you really can't fly with um, a, a lighter that is full. And even if you have it empty and you have it in your checked luggage, if it gets randomly searched, regardless if it's empty or full, you're probably gonna lose that lighter. But this lighter doesn't have an integrated uh, cutter per se, but it does have a punch there. It's about a seven millimeter punch. Works pretty well. It's uh, retractable here and lockable. So once you punch, you retract it a couple times and it, it kicks out that tobacco. What I mentioned earlier is this one also has that tag that you can pull out to help you adjust the adjustment, uh, the flame adjustment wheel a little bit easier. But something like this is most likely even between longer smoking excursions, and I keep using uh, a game of golf as my, as my benchmark, you probably won't have to fill it even with uh, another couple weeks or a couple days, or if you keep this in your golf bag, it'll probably still be good to go the next time. Whereas something like this, you will have to be conscious of refilling before your, your next big cigar smoking endeavor. But again, uh, let your mileage kind of be your guide. It's a, it's a pretty cool lighter regardless. And um, it all depends on how many you're smoking and how quickly you're gonna use up that fuel. But now onto the cutter as well. So, uh, well, before we get to the cutter actually, another, another triple flame lighter, this one's from JetBlue. Uh, I can't remember the model this one. I'll, I'll annotate it in the comments here. This one's a side squeeze with uh, three vertical jets, kind of formulating in a triangle there. So they're not really angled in. It doesn't really give you a fine point, so it's a pretty broad flame. Uh, clear tank here, and it does have a kick out punch that you can use. Uh, but I find this lighter, even though it's a little bit bigger in size, this lighter definitely lasts a lot longer, even from a triple torch design compared to the Lotus here. But now onto a cutter. So if you see, uh, the cutter itself is a very manual pull plunger type cutter. So no spring system in there. You know, it's very nice that they thought about the gate being able to be lifted up either by cutting your cigar this way or just uh, cutting it while it's in the lighter still and then utilizing the gate to get rid of any excess tobacco that's in here. But as a cutter, it's still not as good as something like Zycar here that is spring-loaded cutter, or even let's say the, let's say like the uh, Calibri V cutter here as well. So both of these, dedicated V cutters are infinitely better than the Lotus integrated cutter. 
The Calibri being the most deep, meaning the V that you cut in is going to be the most steep or uh, deep into the cap of your cigar. Some people claim that you, uh, if you have a single cap cigar, uh, the, the Calibri can be a little bit dangerous because it'll cut into the cigar and you'll lose your cap. Uh, after you start smoking a little bit, your cap will unwind. The Zycar uh, is relatively shallow, but still pretty deep. But we can see about both of these V-cutters, let me open these back up, is that the size or, or gauge or thickness of the cigar, both the Calibri and the Zycar give you a little bit more surface area here for your bigger cigars. This V-cutter, I'll tell you, anything over 54, it's almost like you're gonna have to do two parallel cuts, um, to be honest, to get a nice draw compared to what you might be used to if you're using a something like the Calibri or the Zycar, or even like those, um, those cheaper two, three dollar plastic ones, to be honest. They give you a little bit more of a, a, a generous ring size for your cuts. And I found that most things or anything over 54, I find myself doing a cut and then moving over just a hair and doing another cut as well uh, to, give, to give me really like the draw that I'm used to if I would be using a dedicated V cutter. At $70, again, I think the value would be there if it was $50. But, but do some shopping because if you look at other integrated lighters that are made from more premium materials, uh, let's say not something like the Vertigo here that is that plastic, um, the flip tab, I don't even have to press the button. I can just kind of push it and it's unlocking on me already. Um, again, eight to $10 for this type of lighter. If you are looking for something with some more premium materials and you are looking for something with an integrated cutter, uh, the punch the punch feature has been very common on a lot of lighters forever. But if you're looking for a one-stop shop lighter and cutter, $70 actually isn't that bad competitively. But when you take it at its single view and you look at the product itself, I would say that if this was offered at, at around more like $50 or even 60, I know that doesn't seem like much, uh, this would definitely be flying off the shelves and I would be able to say definitively that you should go in, out and buy this lighter. But again, what I can tell you is think about how you would use this lighter or when you would use it, how many cigars you'd be lighting, how okay are you with purging and then refilling your lighters. Uh, it is a nice compact package that has everything included. Um, it's a soft buy for me. It's a soft value for me as well, but I am glad that I bought it and I do find use for it in my regular cigar smoking. So thanks for tuning in on the short review. This is the Intermittent Gentleman. Like and subscribe for some more content. And we'll catch you later. Stay a gentleman. Intermittently, of course.